This huge 20,000 square metre slab is destined to be an airport taxiway. This is far from a conventional concrete pour. It's geopolymer concrete or green concrete. Early studies have found this green alternative produces 50% less emissions than regular concrete. But it's still really only being trialled at this kind of scale. So how do you make green concrete? And why is it less polluting? Just like regular concrete, green concrete is made up of gravel, sand and a paste that binds it all together. For this project, the gravel is sourced locally. Glass guard tree, area secure. Everyone ready up there? Yeah, mate, all good to go. And it's not just the gravel that's creatively sourced. This concrete uses a material that would otherwise be regarded as waste. Upcycled fly ash from the coal industry. And this, slag, a byproduct from steel production. So what's the difference between conventional concrete and geopolymer concrete? For normal concrete, Portland cement is the binder that binds it all together. That contains clinker, quarried as limestone, that is burnt in a rotary kiln at high temperature, releasing carbon dioxide. So to make clinker, you're getting limestone out of the ground and then burning it, essentially. That's right. There is quite a large amount of carbon dioxide that is released, and that's a fundamental part of the manufacture of Portland cement. So it's not, it doesn't matter how you fire it, whether it's with wood or gas or solar panels, it doesn't matter. You still have that large carbon dioxide release as you're calcining the limestone. So the production of clinker is one of the most carbon intensive industries that we have on the planet? Certainly, yes. But your product, the geopolymer concrete, doesn't involve clinkers? That's right. And because producing so green concrete do... doesn't involve cooking limestone, it doesn't release large carbon emissions like conventional concrete. But it does need an extra special ingredient. We then add a chemical activator to that to make it behave like normal concrete. The ingredients of the activator are top secret, but Russell can tell me that it doesn't need heating either. Can green concrete handle the full weight of an aeroplane? We're about to put concrete poured five days ago to the test. We're actually measuring the amount of force it takes to fracture this sample down the middle. So you're measuring strength in this direction? In tensile, right? Concrete takes 28 days to set to its full strength. So this sample is still in its infancy. It's putting constant pressure at a measured load rate. Yeah, we're starting to read now. Now you're starting to read. The compressive strength of concrete is measured in megapascals, or MPA. Now running 0.34 MPA. We're aiming to get over 4.8 MPA. That means it'll be safe for planes. Now you can see it bend a little, actually. Yeah, it will. So peak stress, just about 6 MPA flexural strength, which is about 20% higher than it needs to be at only five days of age. So it's greener, faster and stronger. Correct. It's fair to say that we'll be using a lot more concrete in the coming years. But innovations like this a cause for some optimism. It's quite obvious around the world that not only the CO2 generated by the production of Portland cement, but other things are running out. So the challenge is to find a material that can replace the ordinary Portland cement and at the same time make it sustainable.